Welcome to the Tar Heel State of North Carolina. In this brief exploration, we will dive into the unique characteristics of one of its most prominent area codes 919. From its geography to its demographic, social, and economic makeup, get ready to discover all the amazing qualities of this beautiful region. So, let's take a closer look at area code 919 and its hidden gems. Area Code 919 covers a land area of 4.9 thousand square miles in North Carolina and is home to a population of 2.2 million people. This translates to a population density of 452 people per square mile in the 919 Area Code. This area code is located in a densely populated region of North Carolina and encompasses both urban and rural areas. Area Code 919 is known for its diverse and vibrant music scene with genres ranging from folk and bluegrass to hip-hop and indie rock. The area code was originally created in 1954 and served the entire state of North Carolina until it was split in 1958 and 910 was created to serve the southeastern part of the state. The iconic triangle shape formed by the intersecting highways of I-40 and I-85 in the Raleigh-Durham Chapel Hill area is often referred to as the 919 Triangle a nod to the area code that covers this region. Area Code 919 in North Carolina has a fairly diverse racial composition with a total population of roughly 2.26 million. The majority of the population in this area code is white or Caucasian, with over 1.4 million individuals identifying as such. However, there is also a significant black or African American population of 489,000, as well as a Hispanic or Latino population of 254,000. Additionally, there is a smaller but still significant Asian population of 115,000. This data indicates that Area Code 919 is a melting pot of different cultures and ethnicities, making it a vibrant and diverse community. Area Code 919 in North Carolina is a diverse area with a rich mix of ancestries. According to the most recent data, the most populous ancestries in this area code are English, German, Irish, American, and Mexican. With 11.2% of the population identifying as English, this heritage holds a strong presence in the region. Following closely behind are German and Irish ancestries, each comprising 9.6% and 8.6% of the population, respectively. American ancestry a broad term that includes individuals who identify as Native American, also has a significant presence at 7.7%. Additionally, the Mexican community makes up 6% of the population, highlighting the strong Hispanic influence in the area. These combined ancestries contribute to the vibrant and diverse cultural landscape of Area Code 919. In Area Code 919, North Carolina, there is a relatively equal distribution of males and females, with a total population of 2.2 million. However, the male-to-female ratio is slightly lower at 95.3 males per 100 females. The most populous age group for both males and females is 30 to 34 years, making up 3.5% and 3.7% of their respective populations. This suggests a fairly young population in this area code, with a significant number of individuals in their early 30s. The data also shows a fairly even representation of both genders across all age groups, indicating a balanced sex ratio in the population. In 2019, a total of 26,920 births were recorded in Area Code 919, North Carolina. Majority of the births, 70.1%, were to women between the ages of 20 to 34, with a rate of 90.2 births per 1,000 women. The next highest age range for births was 35 to 50 years, comprising 27.2% of the total births with a rate of 30 births per 1,000 women. Women aged 15 to 19 years had the lowest number of births, accounting for only 2.8% of the total births and a birth rate of 48.4 per 1,000 women. Overall, the fertility rate for women in Area Code 919 was 49.4 births per 1,000 women in 2019. 
In the 15 to 19 years age bracket in area code 919, North Carolina, there were a total of 742 births, with 98.2% of those births being to unmarried women. This age bracket had the highest rate of non-marital childbearing in the area. On the other hand, in the 35 to 50 years age bracket, there were 7,318 births, with only 33.3% of those births being to unmarried women. This represents the lowest rate of non-marital childbearing in the area. These statistics suggest that younger age groups in this area have a higher prevalence of non-marital childbearing compared to older age groups. Among women in area code 919, North Carolina, those with less than a high school education or a high school diploma had the highest rates of non-marital childbearing. The majority of births in these education levels, 71% and 68% respectively, were to unmarried women. Conversely, women with higher levels of education, such as a graduate degree or bachelor's degree, had significantly lower rates of non-marital childbearing at 24.4% and 38.9% respectively. This data suggests that in this area, educational attainment may play a role in the decision to have children outside of marriage. In area code 919, North Carolina, the average per capita income is $38,855, showing steady economic growth and stability. The median household income is significantly higher at $75,310, indicating that the majority of households in this area enjoy a comfortable and financially secure lifestyle. Moreover, the median family income of $94,633 highlights the strong economic state of families living in this area code, allowing for a higher standard of living and more financial opportunities. These figures indicate a thriving economy and a promising future for the residents of Area Code 919. In Area Code 919 in North Carolina, the median earnings for individuals is $41,831. However, there is a notable difference in earnings between genders, with males earning $49,671 and females earning $35,649. This income gap of 27% highlights the ongoing issue of gender inequality in the workforce and the need for continued efforts to close this gap. Despite this disparity, the overall median earnings in this area show a steady and promising income for its residents. In Area Code 919, North Carolina, poverty remains a pressing issue with a total of 237,816 individuals, representing 10.9% of the population, living in poverty. While male poverty is slightly lower at 9.8%, female poverty is higher at 12%. The most vulnerable age bracket to poverty is 18 to 24 years, with a staggering 18.5% of males and 24.9% of females in this age group living in poverty. These statistics highlight the need for targeted and effective measures to alleviate poverty in Area Code 919 and provide support for those in the most vulnerable groups. In conclusion, the exploration of the social, demographic, and economic characteristics of Area Code 919 in North Carolina has provided valuable insights into this vibrant region. For further information and data on not only Area Code 919, but also other states, cities, area codes, and zip codes in the United States, visit Zip Atlas. Discover the unique traits and dynamic makeup of different areas in our country and start planning your next adventure today.